What's going on everybody? Uh, sorry we haven't been doing much videoing. Um, it has been a while. We've been away. Uh, we took a week off. It was crazy. So then like this past week we've been playing that week catch up. So now it's like two weeks in one. So we were making deliveries in the morning while doing hay in the afternoon. And it it's just crazy. But um, we also haven't, I say not exciting. I uh, haven't had that crazy much I mean, we've been doing a lot, just regular hay deliveries and making hay. So it was going all well. And then um, we were round bailing, you know, going well. And somebody was driving along and I was raking and I'm like, hmm, make a pass. I'm like, huh, kind of smells like something's on fire. I didn't think about it. I was like, well, and then it kind of passed. And then, uh, yeah, it was good. I was like, okay. And then I turn around and i see the round baler smoking and it was well he took the roller off already but it was that top roller blew a bearing and yeah it melted the cap and it was yeah it was smoking pretty good uh luckily it didn't catch on fire and like catch the belts all on fire and burn everything uh you know i was right behind there once i saw that i you know sped up with the rake and told hannah to dump it and she was like why why what it's not done and i was like you're on fire <laughs> luckily it was it was just smoking but uh yeah so that bearing of course the local guy, dealer doesn't have it so it's ordered two days out uh we have two days out until rain uh our small square balers down the road we have a little bit to clean up and yeah, I thought I had the right bearing because I got it last, I think this is, it's Monday now and this was actually last like Friday when it happened. So, you know, I called right away, called the parts guy, of course, thinking they know which parts, but anyways. Uh, so yeah, here is the, the that top roller. Um, that's how it's supposed to look. That, you know, you can see obviously rubber burned off. That is part of the bearing. And the other part is uh, still inside there. And yeah, I gotta get that out. At least I'm pretty, yeah. No, it's just a roll. And then it's got this, the bearing rides on this rod and this rod is threaded and then the bolt that goes in there, but yeah. Anyways, that's where we're at. Uh, we're not Baylor in the shop because we got the pumpkins, um, which, it's pretty good. I mean, I'm not gonna complain about having pumpkins in here. It's a little annoying. I can't bring my nice equipment in here to work on, but what can we say? The pumpkins uh, need to stay dry. We've been moving some. These yellows are kind of cool. I don't know there's the whites, but yeah, no. If y'all need, need any pumpkins and you're in the uh, downstate New York area, come check it out. Um, but yeah, we got a lot, a lot of butternut this year. <clears throat> there's some spaghetti on the one side, but. A lot of butternut. A lot of these, I like these like star fins. A lot of these uh, sugar pumpkins, I think they call it. They're the sugar, small pumpkins, but yeah. Anyways, uh, now we gotta fix the round baler. Um, and there's a lot of foxtail stuff this year. Uh, Y'all don't know what foxtail is. It's like the fuzzy head, it looks like a foxtail. It's just got a fuzzy, I mean, we got, you can see like the yellow. Don't have one right here to show y'all, but it's, it's that yellow fuzzy. Oh yeah, right here. So this is, I'm pretty sure this is a uh, green foxtail or yellow. I forget, but yeah, y'all can see it's just got that fuzzy tail. Um, and it is a grass and it's hard to spray out of fields and um, they say the way to get rid of it is get your pH right. And we've limed every year so far for like three years. Um, you know, some of you, oh, maybe you lime too much. We were at 5.3, I think. Last year we were at six. So we're trying to get to that 6.2, 6.5 mark. Um, I like to be a little on that 6.5, um, a little, little more base. Well, neutral is seven, so a little on the basic side. Alfalfa, I think like seven, 
not quite that far, but uh, Grass Lake's that six five ish. Um, but yeah, so that's uh that's what we're dealing with there. So a lot of our second cut, why why do here my foxtail? A lot of the third cut now, um, it's kind of the right time for your foxtail. It's all coming out, and foxtail will kill a horse. So we sell hay to horses. Hay has foxtail. We aren't selling it to horses. So a lot of that's getting made into round bales, and we'll feed it or we'll sell it to you know cattle guys or people that have goats or, or sheep or um, stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, and that's another reason we like to have another barn, just so we could organize things like that, um, just to keep it you know in this corner. You know, I do. We don't have many goat sheep customers, ruminant customers um so yeah that's kind of that's what we've been up to so not too much breaking down but this yeah it's a little upsetting it's kind of like the first time i was chopping corn i don't think this is the first time hannah's round bailed though but i burned up a tractor so gotta be careful of those first times but yeah anyways that's what we got going on. Uh, you know, we've been busy. Haven't been too exciting, but we're trying to catch the exciting stuff. So leave in the comments if you guys like to see like the daily kind of what we're doing. Um, or if y'all just get bored and kind of just want to see the fun stuff. Like the, the different, um, you know, not that I get bored of hay. I think things kind of fun. Uh, and uh, yeah, but yeah, if y'all want to see like the exciting, like I uh, see, so, you know, picking the pumpkins, all the pumpkins, uh, Fixing the round baler, you know, stuff that's out of the ordinary versus just bailing and raking and tedding and raking and bailing more and yeah. But anyways, leave in the comments, let us know, and we'll go from there. Welcome back. Um so I got these out. Uh it wasn't terrible. This one just had the clip all that was left over. I'll show you show you how obliterated it was. I'm um, well you saw before, but like that's what's left of it. Um, yeah, some balls, some bearings. Well, the balls from the bearings. Less than ideal. And then I did pop the other side out. I don't think it was bad. Um, but, I mean, this is... That's the other side. That's what it's supposed to look like. But I just... There was metal in behind it, so I popped it out and... Um, I'm gonna replace it anyways because I got it out. I think they're they're not cheap. I think they're like 50 bucks a piece. Um, but the time to take them out and if it's bad and I got the roll out, nice and easy to work on. Might as well do both sides. Might as well go new. A new one could fail also just as easy. But uh, I think uh, worth the. We'll keep this one on the shelf, and uh, yeah, I was looking for a part number. I'll have to dig into it a little more, but yeah, we'll uh, hopefully get these Wednesday, and maybe Wednesday now is supposed to hold off, so um, I mean, obviously the hay that we're going to round bale isn't the nicest hay. I would just be kind of for heifer, or for the cow hay, hay for the cows or goats and stuff like I said. Um, so it's not a major deal. It just would be nice to clean up, get the weeds. I like to pull the weeds off, um, not leave the weeds to mature, drop the seeds and everything. So hopefully we can get back together before rain and it's dry and you don't have to just stick it right in there because there's a decent bit, probably more than six, seven, eight bales. So a little more than what we'd like to put in the freestyle form right now. But anyways, uh, yeah, y'all, uh, Leave in the comments if every time you uh, blow a bearing on the one side, if you change the other. Um, I don't know. I think it's worth it. But if not, y'all probably know better than me. So let me know. Alex is on the round, Baylor. Fixing her up. Gotta climb up the ladder to fix this darn thing. Can you just leave it like that? I think or... uh, Probably not. Oh. Unfortunately. This is the top end of the round baler. Yes, indeed. This is what the top of a round baler looks like, in case anyone needed to know. And 
Hopefully. You never have to come up to the top of a brown baler to fix it? Oh, let me make sure we get that greasy. We got a... What? There's a grease thing all the way up here? That is yeah, crazy. Oh, look. It's Aspen. Hi. All right. Let's get her done, I guess. Sounds good.